All right, if you're using Google Sheets, you might be trying to figure out the first, second, and third place. Let's say this is a race, so the smallest times win. And you can do that by using one of these rank functions. So we'll add a column called rank. We'll get the formatting right here. And we will uh, type an equal sign that lets Google Sheets know we're going to use a formula. We'll type rank. We can just use the plain old rank. But that's a bit of an older function. It's been replaced by rank.eq and rank.abg. EQ is going to probably be the one you want. We're going to use that first. It will return the same rank for ties, and that rank will be just the next one in order. It's a little bit easier to explain if we just look at an example. So let me click on that. And the value is what it will be ranking. So we will choose A2. And then the data is the entire range, right? And if you're going to rank every row, what you can do is fix the row numbers so those don't move down. And we will give it a true to say that it's ascending, so it's going to rank the smallest time first. And we'll drag this down. And if this is what you're looking for, you're done. And what I mean is that there are there's a tie for first, so each of those people gets ranked number one. And since there was a tie and there were two people, it skips two and goes directly to three. And our other choice for how to do this would be to use the rank average function. So let's look at that one. It's going to get you to the same place, but show it a little bit differently. So we'll say rank average. We'll drag that down. And what it does, I think it's a little bit quirky, but it averages the rank. So since there was a one and a two, it's calling those 1.5. And then there was a three-way tie for third. So there was a three, a four, and a five. So it called all of those four. And the last thing to show you here, and I think on this type of a function, it's especially helpful, is how to do this function all from one cell so what you can use is there's something called array formula. And this can be wrapped around certain types of functions in Google Sheets so that they can repeat the function over an entire range. So I'll show you what that means. Inside it wants the formula that it's going to make into an array. So we will say rank.eq. And for the value, this is what we can do differently. So we'll specify this entire range for the value. And for the data, we'll specify the same range. Put dollar signs in here so the data doesn't move. And we'll say true to is ascending. And there we go. Same results, just one function. If you prefer to not have to add an extra column and to create a new list with a function, this next video will show you how to use the sort in function to create a new sorted list that'll show first, second, third place. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.